Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle from the MS Classic Cars collection. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro RS Custom, packing a 502, 508 horsepower, backed by a six-speed manual transmission. This car I've nicknamed the Hulk. Why? Because it's one mean street machine. Come take a look. To start off this uh, presentation here, this is a non-rehearsed video. There's a lot of information I am gonna forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with tons of highly detailed photos. If you have or have not uh, been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We are very proud to say we are the only classic car dealership in the country who services every vehicle that we sell. We document that work with an invoice. As an example, with this particular vehicle here, we have the invoice pictured right on our website and in this binder here. This is a brand new binder that I provide with every car. We put the invoices in here and then we have everything spelled out of exactly what we did. When the vehicle um, has been completed in the service department, we bring it into our detail department. We spend countless hours from the bottom to the top making these vehicles as spectacular as we possibly can. And then of course we present them with the photography, the videos, and everything else. So this is what you get from MS Classic Cars. To start off about this particular car here, um, this has got kind of a unique story. I'm gonna read this off of a section in our website um, so you understand kind of the story of the car and how we acquired it. As the VIN number and trim tag indicates, this car was built in Norwood, Ohio on the fourth week of February, 1968, as a Chevrolet Camaro six-cylinder, two-door sport coupe. It had a butternut yellow exterior with a black vinyl top and a black custom bucket seat interior. From the information gathered, it was purchased at Gray's Chevrolet located in Swansea, Massachusetts by a woman who lived in Cumberland, Rhode Island. She owned the car for 27 years until selling it to a couple who lived in Swansea, Mass. in 1995. That couple had intentions of restoring the car, but what happens in life, life gets in the way. They never followed through with their original intentions. So the couple sold it to a gentleman by the name of Robert Monez, refer to him as Bob, who lives in Swansea, Mass. in 2000. Bob has been collecting parts and restoring first generation Camaros for many years. His intentions were to fully restore the car, which he eventually got to 20 years later. He completed the restoration in 2021. MS Classic Cars purchased um, a 1967 Camaro Custom that can be found on our website, Soul Page, from Bob many years ago. We were very happy with the car. He did a spectacular job. 
we became friends. So when this car was finished, he reached out to me personally, had me come over his house uh, in Swansea, take a peek at the car. As soon as I saw the car, I knew that I was gonna buy it and him and I settled our deal. So to be very clear, uh, the car was stored uh, with MS Classic Cars uh, for multiple months and we didn't start the service process until September of 2021. Now the plan when we got this vehicle was to improve upon what Bob had already created and that's the delay that it took servicing the vehicle. We kind of were on it, we were kind of off of it, we ordered a bunch of parts for it. So with that being said, and you will clearly see this on our website, you can go through and look at all the parts and look at all the things that we did to this vehicle. We invested a total of almost $50,000 into this car, parts and labor. It, the number exactly was $48,792.24. So we spent a ton of money on this car. So originally, when I had walked into his garage and looked at the car, I was really blown away by the quality of the paint. Uh, the body on the car was really, really nice. All the glass was beautiful. Um, I wasn't a really a huge fan of the wheels that were on the car, so I immediately kind of knew I was gonna do something cool with the wheels. I love the front end, the RS style front grille, uh, the RS badging on the fenders, on the gas cap and things like that. Really liked what he had done with the interior. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of a few things in the interior, so I had some ideas. But most importantly, I just wasn't really uh, excited about the engine that was in the car. Um, it was actually a, a 396 that was built and it had like dual carburetors and things like this. And then of course it had a, a Muncie four speed transmission. Uh, so I knew that there was a few things I was gonna change. So Bob and I actually made a deal where Bob said, look Mark, if you've got plans to take this car to the next level, uh, new motor, new transmission, new clutch, of course you gotta upgrade the cooling system and you got to upgrade the brakes and everything else. It just goes on and on. He said, I'll buy the engine, I'll buy the transmission and uh, we'll take it out of the car. So when you guys get the car, uh, you can you know have it as a rolling uh, vehicle. So we did exactly that um, and that's what the story is. And uh, that's how MS Classic Cars uh, spent almost $50,000 as it just kind of spiraled out of control but we are very, very proud of what we've put together here because we did everything right. We used high quality parts and we have an amazing, amazing machine. So let's get into uh, some of the particulars. Talking about the exterior, uh, during the restoration process, uh, Bob did uh, skin some of the components like the doors, the quarters and so forth. Um, and then he replaced uh, some of the sheet metal with original uh, GM sheet metal, such as the cowl hood. This hood looks absolutely stellar on this car. And then of course he did the fenders. Um, he maybe did the decklet, I believe. I have to reference my notes. And then some of the items were left original with the car originally had. Um, so they did a really nice job on the body. Um, the hood opens beautifully. The doors open and close really nice. And so does the uh, decklet in the rear. Then he had to make a decision what color to paint the car. He painted it in this absolutely stunning green color. Uh, I would refer to it kind of like as an emerald green. The correct name for the paint, if you want to reference it, it's actually called uh, Dark Tourmaline Metallic, which is a Mazda color. Um, this is a really beautiful paint job. He did a super nice job on it. We at MS Classic Cars, we detailed it to the highest level. We went through all the necessary steps to make the paint uh, show quality. And again, because this was a brand new restoration that was completed in 2021, it had no miles on the car when we acquired it. So as you would imagine, there's not a lot, if any, imperfections in the paint because the car was never really driven much. So any little tiniest thing that you might find was simply caused you know, when it was in our service department or during the miles that we put on the cars, we were shaking everything down. But again, it's a brand new restoration. It was just completed. Talking a little bit about uh, the rest of the exterior of the car, all of the glass is uh, slightly tinted. It's all brand new. Talking about the front 
windshield, the door glass, the quarter glass, and the rear glass, all of the stainless trim that wraps everything on the outside was all replaced. Uh, did a beautiful job installing all this. It fits really tight. Um, all these door pieces, which you'll find on the uh, early or first generation Camaros, all of that is in beautiful condition. You can see by looking at the photos that it does have dual chrome mirrors. Those were replaced brand new, new wiper arms, uh, new emblems, new fender trim, new rocker moldings, basically everything, the bumpers, everything was replaced. Uh, tail light bezels, uh, the lenses, everything was gone through. As far as the custom features on the exterior, which I think really just give it that little extra touch, is it does have Detroit Speed Hideaway headlight covers. These cars originally had vacuum operated systems, which could be very temperamental. Detroit Speed, very well known company uh, in the industry. They make electric headlights. So when you pull the headlight knob, they open up really quickly. They're fast, they're efficient, they close nicely. Uh, definitely a great addition to the front end of this car. Gives it a really stellar look with that RS covered headlight setup. Um, also, another custom feature it has is sequential taillights. Uh, the taillights actually function beautifully, a little bit different than what the factory had, but overall, it does kind of appear somewhat factory correct. Of course, when we look at the wheels, the wheels, uh, on these cars, especially 68s, were a little bit of a challenge. If you go on the internet and you Google 18-inch uh, wheel, 20-inch wheel, 68 Camaros, you will see that these cars are very hard to get properly set up. So they're either too low in the front, too high in the back, vice versa. They're slammed to the ground or they look like they're a four-wheel drive vehicle and they're way off the ground because they're very difficult to kind of fit. So we selected a wheel that we thought fit this car perfectly. We had to do a lot of measuring. We had to do a lot of upgrades to certain things to make sure we didn't get any rubbing and things like this. And we think we absolutely nailed the stance of this car. We think it looks perfect the way it's all set up. Uh, just to go over what size the wheels are here, just wanna make sure I don't make any uh, mistakes. The front wheels are 18 by eight. Uh, the rears are 18 by nine and a half. Pretty wide wheel considering the car was not tubbed or anything like that. And then we wrapped these wheels, which are US Mag Rambler wheels. They kind of have a black uh, centerpiece with a polished lip. Again, I think they look absolutely perfect. We wrap these wheels with brand spanking new uh, Firestone Indy 500 tires. They're one of our favorite tires in MS Classic cars. They're aggressive, they're sticky. We think they just look absolutely amazing. The tires on the front are 245 4018s, and on the rears, they're 275 4018. So they really fit the car well. We think we really nailed it with that. Give a lot of credit to my service department for really uh, just selecting the right look and the right stance for this particular car. When we make our way uh, into the interior, um, things still kind of look a little bit factory correct, um, but there are some very nice modern improvements. So the first thing I'm gonna mention here is the headliner is brand spanking new. It's actually really tight. If you look at the corners, uh, whoever did the headliner did a really nice job. You can see even when I touch it that it rebounds pretty quickly. The dome light is brand new. That's in working order. It's got two brand new sun visors. There is a little mark in one of these sun visors here from something that was clipped here, maybe during the restoration process or when it was in our service department. Hopefully those little things there uh, work themselves out. Not a big deal if that sun visor has to be replaced down the road. Just wanna be transparent and mention that. Also, we have a brand new rear view mirror, brand new dash pad. The entire front fascia of the dash is all brand new. Uh, all the hardware is new. Uh, it just looks absolutely stunning. It does have kind of a deluxe style interior, which gives you the fancier door panels. Those are all brand new. Uh, all the Astro vents, the door window cranks, the door handles, everything is brand new regarding that in the panels in the back. Um, brand new carpeting, uh, it just goes on and on. Now, talking about some of the custom features, this is where it gets interesting. We decided to go ahead and change all the gauges in the car. We went with a new vintage 
uh, gauge that is real modern, but kind of represents the factory look a little bit. We love these gauges that we put in here. We rewired everything really nice, nice and clean. And behind those gauges has a nice green light. We thought that would match the exterior perfectly at nighttime when the lights are on. Uh, we also added a brand new Billet Specialties 14 inch uh, street light, uh, what they call black anodized steering wheel here, which I thought was the perfect steering wheel for this car. Again, not too big, not too small. Somebody who's a little taller gives you a little bit more knee room and things like that than the standard size factory style steering wheel. Um, we also added brand new uh, Camaro embossed floor mats, which match the carpeting almost perfectly. They look really nice. Um, these seats that are in this car, you will notice that it has what they call a houndstooth uh, appearance, which is really in the middle section of the seats and in the rear seats but these seats are not factory bucket seats, nor is the rear seat in the back. These are actually made by TMI. They're a really good company. They make a super comfortable seat. Um, it's just really nice because it kind of gives you a little bit of bolster. Um, they've got these really cool Chevrolet uh, emblems that are actually into the uh, back portion of the seat here. Same thing with the rear seats. And of course, the seat belts in the front and the back do have brand new seat belts. So again, I think the touches to this interior are perfect. One thing that we are gonna be doing to this car is we are gonna be adding a radio. Uh, so you'll notice in the pictures, it has one style radio. We actually today just ordered a retro style uh, radio that actually comes with a dual speaker uh, which goes up in the front here uh, under the dash. Uh, so it will have some good sound to it versus what it has right now. And then below the dash, we have our uh, Holly Sniper uh, fuel injection control pad, which I'll touch base with in a minute, but that's nicely done there. I think he did a really good job in service. I'm referring to the people that worked on this car, Wayne, Mike, etc. They did a really nice job uh, setting all of that up. So everything in this car is in great working order. The gauges, the heating system. Again, we've dialed this car in. We've shaken it down. We've done our due diligence. When you look in the trunk compartment, uh, you'll notice that it's real simple back there. All we did is just left it with its trunk uh, paint in the rear. There is no spare tire there because obviously we have custom wheels. There's no tools. Just want to make sure uh, everyone's fully aware of that. Uh, down the road, if somebody wanted to add carpeting back there, they do sell a uh, trunk uh, kit for the first generation Camaros, which kind of match the floor mats. So that's something that could always be ordered down the road if somebody wanted to kind of make it look even nicer than what it does now. Now, let's get into what's under the hood in this car. Open up the hood. Besides the chrome um, spring assembly that you'll see for the latch, you will see a brand new installation pad. The back side of the hood was painted satin black. It looks beautiful. Again, that's a brand new hood. Um, the hinges were new. The hinge springs were new. They hold up really nice. The back of the firewall, the inner fenders, the radiator support, it was all finished in satin black. We had a choice of any engine to order for this car. We made the decision to go to GM Performance. Uh, GM has got a great website. Uh, they offer warranties with all their engines. You know exactly what you're getting when you buy one of these motors. We went with the new ZZ502. They refer to it as the Deluxe, which has 508 horsepower. I believe it's 580 pounds of uh, torque. Just an absolutely awesome motor. We wanted to leave the valve covers that came from GM on there, but what we did is we decorated it uh, with some other features. Most importantly, the Holly Sniper fuel injection system. So this car not only has 502 horsepower, but it's fuel injected. You can't beat fuel injection, starts right up, runs beautiful. You're not necessarily dealing with carburation and things like that, and uh, it runs beautiful. We use kind of like an error correct uh, air cleaner to keep it kind of looking like the rest of the car did. That actually matches the center of the wheels and so forth. Then what we did is we dressed it with uh, custom uh, accessories like pulleys and things like that. You'll notice uh, a lot of the wiring, they did a good job kind of hiding it and organizing it and everything else. Um, now, when you get a big block like this, you gotta make sure it's properly cooled. So what we did is we bought a very high-end uh, Griffith High Flow uh, radiator system. Uh, it's got a, a spall uh, a fan on it that actually cools beautifully. That was something that we did again on that list of all the things I rattled off earlier. 
of what we invested. So it's got a great cooling system. The engine actually breathes out of Flowmaster long tube ceramic headers into a full uh, Flowmaster exhaust system. You will notice that the mufflers have been wrapped in heat shield to keep the floors cool. Uh, again, did a really nice job with the exhaust system on this car. It sounds spectacular. Now, once you have all that power, you got all your cooling, you got the sound, you need the transmission and the clutch to back up that power. So once again, we stepped up and we purchased a brand new, uh, it's, a, it's a T56 Magnum six-speed, not a five-speed, but a six-speed transmission. We bought this from American Powertrain. Uh, they give you the entire kit, including an upgraded cross member. Uh, we installed it all. It works absolutely beautiful. When it came time for the clutch, we really spent the extra money. We invested in a McCloyd, which is one of the best names in the business. It's a twin disc, high-performance clutch. And we've set it up where the clutch actually was very smooth to operate so you can shift through all these gears. Uh, of course, the power is transferred to a well-built 12-bolt uh, uh, posi rear end. Um, it's just an absolutely stellar drivetrain, this car. Again, it runs beautiful. It's super, super fast. It is definitely a mean street machine, and that's why I nicknamed it the Hulk. That was the one thing I thought of when I saw the color and how aggressive this car was to drive. Uh, it only made sense to nickname it the Hulk. When you get into the undercarriage of the car, uh, you will notice that everything is finished in satin black, just like it was in the engine compartment. Uh, the floors on this car are in really, really nice condition. Um, I would say that everything is highly detailed because everything was essentially replaced during the restoration. A lot of new components. You'll notice that it has power steering underneath. You'll notice that the front suspension system is all modernized. Uh, it's a QA1 complete setup. We're talking about upper control arms, lower control arms. We're talking about adjustable coilover shocks, even an upgraded sway bar. Uh, really, really well built in the front. As you make your way uh, toward the back of the car, you'll see the e-brake uh, cable for uh, the braking system. And then you'll see the new fuel tank. And then of course, when you look at the rear, it's a Calvert um, system, which has got a complete setup with Cali track bars for stability. Uh, you'll notice that it's got nine way adjustable shocks, uh, things of this nature. So the rear end was set up to handle the power of the motor to keep the tires on the ground. Uh, back to the braking system, it does have a chrome uh, booster. I believe it's an eight inch booster with a chrome master cylinder. Um, it's, a, it's a right stuff braking system, which is actually four wheel uh, disc brakes. It's got black calipers. Um, I believe the brakes were a 12.1. have to reference my notes for that, but I believe the, the size was a 12, and that's all the way around. Um, again, they're slotted and drilled rotors for great stopping power. Uh, it just goes on and on. So once again, this is a very special car that I'm very excited uh, to present here today. We've been working on this car on and off again in our service department for a long time. So anyway, going to go ahead and start the car. Let you listen how beautiful it runs. Before I do that, I will ask if you have not signed up for the MS Classic Cars VIP email blast, please do so. It's the best way to get information from us. We do great email blasts. Definitely want to be a part of that. Um, also, we would ask that you follow us on social media. We are on all the social media platforms. Again, that's a great way to follow our company. We appreciate you watching this video. I'll say it again over and over. We're not by far the biggest dealer, but we are definitely doing things different and very proud of what we've done and where we're heading. So again, appreciate you watching. Time to let the Hulk roar. And that's a cold start. I have not started this car in probably four or five days. And you can see how beautiful the car started. It runs absolutely beautiful with this fuel injection system. Somebody's getting a nice ride. We appreciate you watching. Rock and roll.